you're doing is you're you're you have the confidence that people are just very tempted to bs and not be honest and just bullshit mm -hmm. and education for you is exposing that and and forcing kids to face it a little bit that's very yeah. that's very helpful i think yeah i mean okay look i'll i'll, I'll say this um, I don't want to come off like I'm blaming the kids and pointing the finger at them. They're like this because this is the environment they've been raised in. People are They're like, like this because the adults are like this. Yeah, all people are like this. I, yeah, my my, this my college stuff. classes, I mean, the exactly. voters are like this. It's the mentoring they're getting. Yeah. yeah, it's a very human thing. That's right. Um, and I think my goal, the way I put it, is I'm trying to thaw the dogmatism. I'm not trying to indoctrinate. I don't want to convert your kid. But I just want to ask some questions to help that student lead the examined life because most don't. And uh, that's a shame because if you don't lead the examined life, to borrow another phrase from centuries ago, uh, you're living a life of quiet desperation. And we have too many, we have too many citizens in our country right now leading lives of quiet desperation. And so I want to help them go deeper. And yes, be honest with themselves and what they really believe and actually figure out what they really believe. And then, um, you know, take those beliefs for a test drive. Do they work? Yeah. Are they true? Uh, that's, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm helping, I'm trying to help them engage in that process in the first place because most haven't at all. And then B, um, maybe come to some sort of uh, conclusions in that process. So thawing the dogmatism is how I put it. That's great. I like that.